Black women, are you tired of the propaganda of us being viewed as strong, but not soft, masculine, but not feminine, combative, but not pleasant? And this is what our men are saying about us. In the black community, we were taught to be strong and educated, but not soft and feminine. Get on your feminine journey and join me on YouTube at Mrs. Danielle DeVita, my podcast, Feminine Energy with Danielle DeVita, or you can just book a session by going to mymentor.life forward slash Danielle DeVita. Get on your feminine journey today. Peace family. My name is Vicki Dillard and I'm pleased to be a contributor here at African Diaspora News Channel. I'm your sister with the curly braids. Be sure to give us a big thumbs up, thumbs up, share, share, share this broadcast. Thank you so very much. Beloved family, I want to talk to you about a Wall Street Journal article that came out giving us some of the findings from the latest census. You all remember that was a big, big, big deal that was um, made of the last census that we got. We had to get an extension because of the global emergency, et cetera, et cetera, right? Well, this Wall Street Journal um, article that's just recently dated says, watch this, census data show America's white population shrank for the first time. Y'all listen. The first detailed results of the 2020 census show a diversifying nation where the total white population shrank for the first time in its history and where large metropolitan areas, especially in the South and Southwest, saw the strongest growth. The non-Hispanic pop white population dropped 2.6% between 2010 and 2020, a decline that puts the group's share of the, US, the total U.S. population below 60%. The number of people who identify as more than one race or ethnicity grew at the, at the fastest rate of any group, partly due to changes that captured more detailed responses. Uh, it goes on uh, about several other things. Now, let me tell you something. This is alarming to white supremacists, America and the world. When you see these sorts of articles coming out, this type of commentary coming out, they are signaling to white business owners, white people, places and things to be on high alert and to make sure that white supremacist America stays on code with the oppression of black people first and foremost. These numbers, these 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 uh, demographer, these different demographers reports, your statisticians reports, your uh, doctors and experts who do these kinds of things. Um, your scholars who do these types of numbers crunches and stuff like that from the demographics, baby, this is not just to report news. This is keeping white supremacist America on call. In the event they was thinking about letting up, in the event they was feeling sorry and, and was thinking about Breonna Taylor and George Floyd, in the event they was thinking about other black injustices, redlining, gerrymandering, the miseducation of our children, uh, the illegal incarceration, on and on and on. They saying we we about our numbers our numbers are declining. We might be ready to go. So no, keep the oppression up. This is a high alert, coded language. Before the census was finished, family, this is what they were pointing to in the first place. You've got to understand, Dr. Francis Cress Welsing. Be sure to get our now ancestor warrior scholar book called uh, the ISIS papers, the keys to the colors. She told us decades and decades and decades ago, as well as the honorable Elisha Muhammad in different ways and other powerful black leaders and organizations, they warned us that this would be a fear from the dominant society of their decreasing numbers. So the reason for the oppression, the reason some of you scratch your head and say, well, why are they voting for this person? And that's, that's not in their best interest. That person is not going to give them resources. That person is not going to uh, introduce policies that's going to benefit them and they're broke and they're poor. They stay on code because of this reason. And if you are seeing scripture, in a non-religious text, you will understand that when the scripture talks about in the book of Revelation, that is styled as devil. But when the opposer or the enemy um, sees that his time is short, 
So he comes to the earth to make havoc. That's not talking about some invisible entity underneath you that has a red pitchfork. It's talking about a concern of an oppressive group who knows that their time is up. Doesn't this make more sense when you're dealing with the um, how white supremacists think? And Dr. Francis Chris Welsing, who was a physician, a psychiatrist, an accomplished psychiatrist, told us that this is something that's working in the minds of the oppressive class on a conscious and a subconscious level. In other words, that there are some folks that are pressing you subconsciously because they feel that their time is short or they're not going to have a very long time on our planet, not even in a conscious way, because it's so ingrained in the DNA, in the traits and in the patterns of the world. Do you understand? So this is some alarming news, which means that black family, we must be on high alert which also gives you insight to how they move so that you can stop trying to do these come to Jesus meeting thinking this stuff is going to change when, when, when members of the oppressive class, members of the dominant society in America, which is about to be dominant no more. In America, at least, because you know the darker people of the earth already outnumber them, but specifically in the United States of America. This is the reason why they're doing a lot of erratic stuff. This is the reason why on certain policies that come against black folk, you see both Democrats and Republican working hand in hand. Does that make sense now? This is meant to give you perspective. Talk black to me. My name is Vicki Dillard. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Vicki X Dillard. Be sure to sign up for my amazing life-changing metaphysical spiritual weekly mastermind course for only $1 for the first 30 days at clubvicki.com. Clubvicki.com. The links are below. I can't wait to see you on my social media platforms. Also, be sure to subscribe to my email list at missvickytv.com. That link will be below as well. Miss, M-I-S-S, Vicki, V-I-C-K-I, TV.com. Thank you so much. Make the most of your organic gardening experience with the world's first self-growing planter. All you do is add soil, seeds, or plants and walk away for the rest of the year. Our planters will germinate your seeds and grow your plants. Torpedo Pot's microbial organic growing process is designed to give plants incredible texture, refreshing scent, beautiful colors, and delightful flavors. Torpedo Pot is fully automated and uses over 95% less water to grow a lot more nutritious food. Check out our website, www.torpedopot.com and order yours today. Hello everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.